is this the best laser cutter and engraver under a thousand dollars? 22 watts of power, autofocus, built-in air assist, all of this sounds pretty good. But is it actually any good? Well, let's go find out. I remember seeing Creality's booth at CES 2025, and I was blown away at how cool their machines look. I didn't know how any of them actually worked because I'm more of a robot guy, but I wanted to learn. So fast forward to now, and Creality sent me the Falcon 2 Pro cutter and engraver to use. Now, full disclosure, I have never even been around a laser cutter or engraver. So we're gonna be figuring out how to use this thing together in this video. Luckily, I did do some research though. Now, here's what it looked like when I opened it up, and here's all the stuff pulled out. The setup was a bit confusing to me and took me about an hour to build this whole thing. I've heard online though that others thought it was super easy, so I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb. Good day, mate. <laughs> now, here's the thing, before I take you all around this machine and we set it up and we actually test it, this thing emits some smoke. Not that much, but I've heard a little bit. So let's move it out to the garage. You see, you don't know where the macho man is coming from. All right, I've got the Creality Falcon 2 Pro on, and I've also got my laptop set up and all hooked up. I've got it plugged into the side right here, all the way into the USB over there. So. Let's open up Lightburn and let's get this thing engraven. So when I first tried to get the printer to work, it wasn't shooting a laser, even though it was moving. And I was going through all sorts of settings trying to fix it. But then I found that if you click on the wrench and screwdriver icon and look under machine units, you can change millimeters per second to millimeters per minute under better diode. And this fixed the issue entirely. Then I was ready to try out engraving. After putting a thin piece of wood in and adjusting the laser module to the right height, I chose the image I wanted to engrave onto the wood. And since you guys know I love robots here on the channel and nostalgia, I had to go for a sketch of Johnny Five the Robot from the 1986 movie Short Circuit. One of my favorites. Back in Lightburn, I clicked frame, which went around the wood once. And then for settings, I set the speed limit to 3000 millimeters per second and the power max to 20%. All there was left to do then was to click start. All right, moment of truth. It's done printing. This took a really long time because I chose a really, really big image on a really big piece of wood. Total time to print this was about an hour and a half. Um, but like I said, it is huge. Oh my God, it looks so good. Dude, look at this. <laughs> I did accidentally put the image off to the side, so this is completely my fault. I'm gonna have to cut this wood, but I'm gonna definitely put this in my office. This looks so good. Now, the cool thing about this engraver I found out is that you can engrave on almost any kind of wood. So this past weekend, I went to this really cool place here in Austin that does a lot of recycling, and I ended up picking up three random pieces of wood that I'm also going to try and test out that I'll probably show you in YouTube shorts. But as you can see, it does work really, really well so far. Okay, so now that we know that it can obviously engrave really, really well, I do wanna test out the cutting side of this machine because this thing can also cut through wood. And we're gonna use this other little square piece that this actually came with. So I'm gonna set it right in here. I'm gonna close this up. And let's jump back into the computer and we're gonna have to change the settings for cutting it. So for the laser cutting, I wanted to do a way simpler design, but also something I could use for a future project, maybe even on my other YouTube channel, Eric Skateboards later on. So I decided on a simple skateboard to be laser cut and found this really cool skateboard deck clip art. Now, my hope was that it would cut holes in the board where like the hardware is supposed to go in case I plan on putting some small trucks on it in the future. So this image is perfect for that if it'll cut correctly. Just like with Johnny Five, 
I clicked file, import, and then I chose my image, and then I kind of tried to frame it up in this grid. Honestly, I was a bit scared on how big to make this, so I tried to make it pretty small where it would mimic a tech deck once it was cut. Also, if you notice under cuts and layers, I lowered my speed and upped my power max percentage because from what I've read, that makes for a better cut. Then after framing it, which I did wrong, we'll get to that in a second, I hit start and it started lasering. I don't know what is up with the percentages in Lightburn, but it has said 99% for like 40 minutes. And it does look like it's almost done. 20 ish minutes later. Guess what, guys? It's at an hour and 49 minutes, and we're still at 99%. <sighs> Another 10 minutes later. Okay, so after two hours, I tried to cut out this tech deck, but realized that I off-centered it so much that the laser machine had to stop because it could tell that it was about to go off of the piece of wood. So this is completely user error. But from where it cut, this thing is like perfect. It even cut out the four holes like a regular skateboard has for your hardware. I'm gonna have to redo this later when I actually put the wood in the right place and set it up in light burn correctly. But now that we have our cut and we have our Engraving. Let's go back to my office and let's do a final review on the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. Just in case you guys were wondering, the reason I look so sweaty in all the clips throughout most of this video is because I was working out of my garage where it was almost 100 degrees here in Austin and I was in there for hours. <laughs> so one thing I definitely learned was I need to get a lot better at light burn. So if any of you out there know a lot about this program and you've used it a lot in the past, please leave me some tips and tricks and everyone else watching this video, some tips and tricks down in the comments below. However, having said that, I was able to salvage the skateboard itself. I think it came out looking pretty cool. I just sanded down the edge. It's a little bit rough, but I've got big plans for this. I'm gonna make something cool in the future with it. I also think that my Johnny Five came out super cool. Definitely gonna have to cut it because this off centering is kind of bothering me, but it looks awesome. And I'm probably gonna hang it above my desk just to look at all the time. It looks awesome. I wanna make way more, but let's talk about the laser engraver and cutter itself. My only con that I found with this laser printer and engraver was that it was a little bit difficult to set up. It took me about an hour as you saw earlier in the video, but again, it could have been just because I'm dumb. That is a very real possibility. Now moving over to pros though, there are a ton of them. As far as what it's made for, engraving and cutting, it did a phenomenal job. I also love that it has a lot of fire safety features like the emergency stop button and the ventilation with that tube thing that was flopping all around at the beginning of this and I put it off to the side. That thing worked great for diverting a lot of the smoke out of the machine outwards. And I didn't see a lot of smoke. You could just kind of smell the burning a little bit. Now the other pro that I love that it came with is the red hood because it protects you from the laser and also probably some of the smoke that would come off. Last pro on my list is that it's just over overall an amazing machine. Now that I know how to use it, I'm in love with it. Ever since I used it the other day, all I've been talking about is engraving more things, which I'm definitely gonna do right after finishing editing this video. Now, one thing you may need to be aware of if you do end up getting this laser cutter and engraver is that you will need a program like Lightburn. There are free versions out in the world, not Lightburn, but other free versions that will allow you to engrave and cut things that you want. But Lightburn is kind of like the industry standard and it's what everybody uses and honestly, it was the easiest thing I could find to use in this video. Now, of course, all easy and fun things like this come with a cost. And from what I can tell online, it's about $99 to purchase it, but that is for lifetime and you get free updates every time that they update it after that. And then there are higher plans outside of that, but for most users like myself, I'm just gonna need the $99 one. Speaking of things you can buy, if you would like to pick up your own Creality Falcon 2 Pro laser engraver and cutter, I will leave a link down in the description below where you can do so. And I also wanna give a huge shout out to Creality for sending me this and letting me just kind of play around with it and tell you what I think about it. Because honestly, I was pretty impressed. 
Now, outside of all those things, if you'd like to support this channel because you liked what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. That really does help out my channel. I think looking at the analytics the other day, only like 12% of my audience is actually subscribed. Also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can also hit that thanks button down there where most of the money that flows into there goes right back into making videos like this for you. And with that, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna throw a video right up here that YouTube algorithm thinks that you might be interested in that I've made in the past. I'm Eric, this is Eric's Tech World. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next video. For the next technological adventure, peace out.